Hi friends, I'm working with email signatures today. My name is Dawn Monroe. I'm going to go through uh, creating signatures in different products like Microsoft templates and in Canva, um, even some online versions, and then how to put those signatures in your different email messages like Microsoft Outlook, both in the desktop and 365. I'll also show you how to do it in your Gmail account. So I'm going to load a lot in this and um, also break it up in different videos. So let's get started with Microsoft. Here is an email message with a signature. That's what I'm talking about. How can we get those signatures easily in our, our new um, email? So when you are creating a new email, you can go in and include the signature here. You can set up a variety of them and you can get under the hood into the signature area from the bottom of that list. This is one way to get there. Another way to get there is to go to File and Options and get into the mail settings on your account and here you can get to signatures as well. Now, make sure if you have multiple email addresses loaded into your Outlook account, are you talking to the right email account? So do that right at the top. And then let's just make a new one. Let's call this sample 2023 and OK. And then here I, is my work area where I could type it in here or create it somewhere else and copy and paste it in. If it's a picture, I can load up a picture. They also give a business card option, but frankly, it's the Outlook business card. It's not very pretty. So I would do one of these other options. The, uh, bring in the graphic and link the graphic, or bring in individual text and picture items and link each one separately with this link out at the side um, here. And then you get to choose where do you want this one to appear. Like if I want this to be in all new messages and also when I hit reply to an email, do I want that to show up? Now, I have been playing with different varieties. This is in Microsoft Word. And personally, I prefer a very simple text version. So I'm going to select my text version and control C to copy. I'm going to jump back over to Outlook and simply click in this box and paste it in. That's all that I need to do there. That one will work. I already created the links by selecting that text. Whoops, let me get the whole line. Selecting that text and getting into the link option. I did this over in Word before I even got here. And so that's going to my link tree link. And then I've done the same. I just use text for the LinkedIn and the YouTube. That all works. I'm going to hit save. And I've set it up so from that email account, when I make those new messages, that will come in. Now, notice here, Get Signature Templates. You can use Get Signature Templates in Microsoft. This is going to bring up a that's a link. It's taking me to this site out on the internet. And what I can do is download some email signatures that, uh, that Microsoft has already got set up for me. And I can actually customize these in Word. I'm going to bring their template up. This is opening in my Word 365 account directly. And it's got a bunch of samples in here. So if you want to get a little more creative, but you don't have that skill set, why don't you look at one of these? If you love it, then just select it. Now I will notice, or will let you know, a lot of these are set up in little miniature tables. If you've not used a table in Word before, that makes rows and columns, and it helps you kind of divide up the content. A lot of these, if you click that little four-way arrow, it will show you what the table is looking like. So um, what I've done is I've just selected this copy-paste, 
and you notice it has a lot of them that have the little icons already in there for your social media so what I did was I copied and pasted some of those over here and so this is the one that I just had copied and pasted so anything I want to adjust in here I would simply select it and then retype let me just do that whole line there Don Monroe and just select it and then type over it you'll get the formatting you'll be ready to go you can customize this now when you want to replace the picture the easiest way probably is to click in picture format and then there is a little icon there to replace a picture from this device now be careful because if they've made adjustments on that picture it may distort a little bit de determining how that picture was sized versus how your picture is sized so what you could also do is just delete that picture out of there and and insert your own picture in that spot and then adjust the size with cropping and whatever you need to do there okay um, pictures are a beast of their own right there's also then this is set up so it's in line with text it's not moving around if you're struggling moving the picture you might want to choose one of these options square or I would say tight in this small situation so that you could move it a little more freely um, the way you work with these is that you would click one of these little picture options and right click it and insert the link so that when they click on that particular picture let me get my correct link I've got it here on another screen and so when they click on that LinkedIn picture there it's going to go directly to my LinkedIn account when I'm done building this I can select the whole thing and copy control C and paste it over back in my Outlook okay so that's the Microsoft setup if you wanted to create and do a signature in the Microsoft world let's say you set all this up and you you didn't love all that maybe you wanted to get a little fancier so you could search online there are many many products where you can build a signature um, thing and, and then just copy the graphic over what I would warn you about is some of those graphics come in as an individual picture pardon I've already got some of these set up with the link so I'm going to try to select it there we go without activating the link in this case um, I set one up this one I built over in Canva and Canva is a graphic design program and what you could do with this is just get into get into Canva and I'll show you how I worked with this I had to do something specific there we go um, to basically not only create that signature piece that main graphic of it but I also went back in and I had to find these little social icons whichever ones I wanted but I also had to size them um, very small so that I could use them in my email signature so this actually became not only this part and you could see some I played with here I ended up downloading this one and I based it off of this initial design so I fussed with it played with it did all my things but when I download this it comes in as one picture so I could link this one picture to a source like my link tree but what I wanted was also some individual ones that go to the individual socials this is how it looks when I brought that back over um, into Word just to play with it I just wanted it in a program I could play with it so there's the graphic for 
the the whole signature box but you you can't actually click into that text on that picture so I linked it so I'll edit link so you can see it right click on it link and then you can go and so there I linked the entire picture directly to my website or my link tree would be another good idea for that so it goes and has options to all of my um, items now down here I've also linked each individual graphic and you can um, edit the link then on each individual graphic but I had to add those in one at a time into that signature box on Microsoft Outlook now I've only been showing you on the Microsoft Outlook in the desktop version I am going to take you over and show you how that looks in Outlook on the web okay so I made an empty mailbox here so you wouldn't see all my junk now to work on this you're actually going to if you're logged into your 365 account on the web you'll click on the gear icon in here this is where you can get to the signature box now it should match up on with what you've got on the desktop um, I've got different accounts floating around here I'm gonna go ahead and select this one let's um, so I don't do you want a Microsoft bookings link on your signature you can include that um, I believe this is only going to take you to Microsoft Bookings, not at this moment in time to your Calendly kind of account. But um, I'll go here, and let's say I want to clean that one out and use the other one that I just worked on today, or whatever you've created. Copy, bringing it back over to the Outlook on the web, that one. Um, paste it in there now in this case it didn't recognize the font so I would want to go shopping and pick a, a font that I like better I want one that's a little bit more of a signature looks like I'm not getting all my choices there and that one is way too big so let me reduce that something like that Okay, the size a little bit better and then I would just save it there so if I am using Outlook 365 on the web and I use this one labeled 2023 then um, it would include that one and, and see my choices here I can use whichever I want either no signature or whichever one of these that I choose to use I'm gonna use that that new one I just created let's see if it picks up the font okay and you just set whatever settings you need in here okay and close that up and then let's try it new email and this is doing one that I set up in here uh, yesterday with this sample one and so there you can see this picture is a link this is a link this is a link this is a link that's a link so you can build all that and set that up exactly how you need it let's go into that just one more time in here so i set up so many i've got a few <laughs> versions going so let's go look at that one yeah so that's the one it's using the new october that i set up a few days ago in here okay so whichever one I decide to use I can always change and choose it when I'm building the email but I can have different varieties for whatever my needs are on the back side so that's um, that's got your different versions I am going to show you for those of you that are trying to do different signatures and you are using Gmail so if you go to the gear in Gmail you can get into the general settings and if you roll down in here here's one that I set up ages ago 
and um, let's uh, we can we can use that one or we can create a brand new one. Let's do a new one. New 2023 create. And what I'm going to do is jump back over to that setup I had in Word and copy that one and bring that back over to Gmail and pop it in here. Okay. Again, it did not like that font, so I would have to shop a little bit and find something or make something and maybe italicize it or something. Those are not very cute, are they? <laughs> no, they are not. Let's do it down to normal. Don't like that. Larger. Don't like that. We don't want it huge. So I think I would just adjust. Let's make this one a little bit smaller. Small. Okay, and that's good enough probably for this sample. Okay, so then you could pick what happens on these, which one you use. Let's use our new and our new one. Okay, so um, that's the Gmail version of using this. And it doesn't matter if you pick one with those graphics, you might have some trouble bringing in some of those graphic elements, but you um, you should give it a try and see. You can also, in some of these, let's try it if I create new um, with picture, create. And you'll see down here, if you're editing and changing things, you could bring in uh, an image from here and bring in like a logo. There's my brand, so we can find a logo there. And so you could bring in original black logo. Let's do this variety that's um, got the, and see how that is, that's come in very large. Let's make it smaller. So there's a graphic there, and you can link your graphic. So picking the graphic, highlighting it to select it, and then clicking link, then you can link that. Let's link that whole thing back to my link tree. And OK. And then I can just put my name down there below it, Don Monroe, uh, yada, 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 and whatever I need in my signature. So lots and lots of ways to create signatures. Don't let yourself get too frustrated with it. Play around until you get the image that you like. And the good news is you can always go in and tweak these if you have a job change um, and get a new title or something like that. They are pretty easy to change. You just need to know where to go depending on the program that you use. Gosh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know, and if you have any other questions, add them to the chat. Be sure and subscribe.